you must never go onto or play near a train track. But this track has been closed and all the trains stopped. So I have special permission to go onto the tracks to show you how they work. This part of the track is called a junction. And a junction is where the track splits in two. Can you see there's one going straight up under the bridge and another one going off to the side? To control which route a train will take is this section here called the points. It's a piece of the tracks that can move from one side to another and they're moved by this. It's called a rod. The rod is connected to this hut, called a signal box. And it's where the signalman controls the tracks. To control the tracks, he moves signals like this, which tell the train driver whether it's safe to go. A bit like traffic lights. But I think we need to take a closer look. Inside the signal box are lots of levers, which pull the rods and wires that run alongside the track. First, the signalman pulls the black lever. This changes the points on the track from one side to the other. Then the blue lever is pulled. This stops the points from changing while the train is moving across. Finally, the red lever is pulled. This lowers the signal, which means the train can travel safely ahead. The train driver sees the lowered signal, so can carry on going. On to a different track. It's really clever, isn't it? I'd love to see a junction working, though, would you? Let's go take a look inside this signal box. Wow, look at all of the levers. Can you guess how many there are? There are 37 of them. There are red ones, white ones, black ones, and even blue ones. This is Andy, and he's the signalman. And it's Andy's job to pull the right levers at the right time and tell the train drivers when it's safe to go. So how does Andy know which lever to pull when? Up here is a map of the train tracks and it tells Andy which lever controls which point and signal on the tracks. 